Hey, welcome to episode of Beers Jack of Barbecue. Check out these ribeye caps we made on the Life of Dew Grill. Hey, I'm Craig, the man behind the camera's Jack. Got our portable Life of Dew Grill set in here, and we got three nice ribeye caps. Um, we've actually some other things out there. We did a beef jerky one, we did some uh, cheesesteaks if we put it out already by now, and now this is the, the pinwheel caps we made from that same ribeye. Um, we'll show you that little piece of it in this part of it as well. I pinwheeled it, I tied it up with butcher twine, and all I'm gonna do is cut it kind of in between the, the, uh, the strings. I'll probably cut this one a little closer to the end because I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that one, but again, that's the other thing about buying like the whole thing, instead of just buying steaks at a higher price, all these little extra meats you can use either for ground, ground uh, beef or, um, like I said, with the cheesesteaks we're doing, so, we use the whole thing, almost waste nothing except some of the hard fat. So I'm going to slice this up quick and we'll uh, next up be on the grill. I know this knife is like overkill, but I just love cutting slices with it. So I'm going to get some nice fat steaks out of this. Basically going to fire up, I got the Life Do grill set up on the narrow configuration. Going to get some charcoal going in here. Um, I don't have my cast iron pan out here right now, but I'm going to do a little attempt at some indirect cooking. Try to get these things warmed up to a little bit. They're almost two inches thick. So I want to get them warmed up and then just sear them off hot and fast in the cast iron to finish them off. So that's going to be the cook tonight. So uh, we'll see you when we get this fired up. All right, so we got the Life of Dew grill set up. I still, I have it in the wide position yet. I kind of have just a small amount of charcoal over here and, and more up this end. Um, that's where the cast iron is gonna go um, for when we put it on. Um, I didn't mention before, I used Pit Patriots all-purpose seasoning on the steaks last night. I'm just gonna start them kind of off on the corners down here just to start warming them up. And then I'll check temperatures along the way and this little one, I'm going to actually, there's a little one, I don't know if you see it on camera, but there's a little one here. I'm actually going to wait to even do anything with that one, just because it's so small, it's going to get done fast. So, like I said, I'm just going to let these kind of hang out, start warming up. Um, I'll check temperatures when they get maybe 70, 80 degrees. We're going to start doing the sear right away in the cast iron. And at one point, I'll get the cast iron there as well to get it nice and hot. So, uh, keep this cooking and we'll see you in a little bit. All right, let's give these things a flip. So, like I said, they're starting to warm up starting to cook a little bit let these go for a little bit longer uh, and then we'll probably get the small one on too but the thing I'm gonna say like we're got this little small work area here but that's all the room we need to get these steaks doing what they're doing right now looking pretty good um, this is gonna be a good one oh I'm also gonna put the cast iron on start to get that thing hot so when we go to sear these off at the end we'll be ready to go all right, so I want to get some a good hunk of ghee in the uh, cast iron to get that moving around here, so we can ready for searing. I'm gonna. Uh, we the temperature of the one was just about 80, a little bit above 80 already, and the other one was in the right around 70. So, like I said, we like the the lower end of the medium rare. So, I'm gonna let this. Uh, like I said, we'll start searing here in a in a minute, but. Uh, like I said, just working with a cast iron is going to be pretty nice as well here. So, like I said, just start to uh, And we'll get the small one in right away because that's what it's going to be. So we'll let that go about a minute. And then I'll flip them over. Alright, that was about a minute. Oh yeah. Got a nice looking sear happening there. Oh yeah. Let me see that sear that's happening there. All right, while this is finishing sear, I'm gonna try to get a reading on these things. Boy, that's a nice crust on there. That one's only at 80 yet, which I figured that being the bigger one. And that one's actually towards, uh, towards 100, but we'll let it sear for a little bit longer. I'm gonna do a little bit more searing then we'll bring it off to the low end again, just to try to let them finish off. But it um, won't take much, time, much more time at this point. 
All right, one last flip here. And like I said, we'll probably move them off just to let them finish up, but boy, these got a beautiful sear going. All right, we're just gonna move them off to the side. I'm gonna do another reading. Um, you can see with like the, by the metal bars here, I put that on there just to support the cast iron a little more. And what I did to kind of make two zones in the grill, I put more charcoal on one end and less on the other here to try to make that. I'll remove the cast iron so that starts cooling off for us. And uh, I'll do a temperature check real quick. Yeah, it's just about 90 now. So like I said, these aren't going to take real long. That's a little over 100. Um, and this little one is already at 100 as well. So just a little bit here to get them going. I'm going to left, leave them off resting. Like I said, we like our stuff medium rare on the rear end. So I'm just going to probably go another minute aside here, flip them once, and we'll be pulling them off and show you what they taste like. All right, quick flip here. Boy, that crust is amazing on this thing. Might have found a new best way to do this. You know, we always like to do that beautiful crust on these steaks. Another minute, we're going to pull them off and let them rest because they'll warm up again about 15, 10 to 15 degrees um, once we leave them sit to get ready for the ending. All right, going to yank them off. I did check the temperatures again, and we had um, the other ones were about 118 to 120 here on these smaller ones. And the other one's about 110. We'll let Jack have that one. He likes that, that charred, almost Pittsburgh-like style. So we're going to bring it back to show you the tasting. As always, cheers. Here we are, end of the cook. Life to do, portable grill. Like I said, this thing's pretty awesome. You saw our, our, our previous video on, on getting it. And like I said, they sent us a grill. All I asked was for an honest review. We did that. We're actually shooting again, and we're probably going to shoot other ones as well because it's a nice little portable grill. Um, so far, it's early on, but the rack is holding it well. But the thing folds up. I think it's like if I had their measurements right, it's like 19 by 15 by 2 inches. Um, easily portable. Um, throw some charcoal in there. Do a cook. We saw this with a cast iron pants, and it worked out great. Got ribeye caps here, so we, we showed you where we took a whole ribeye, broke it down, made pinwheels out of the cap. These were some of the smaller ones that we had there, but I thought it'd be perfect for an outdoor cook here in the woods. So, seasoned it last night with Pit Patriots all-purpose seasoning, 24 hours of ants. Smil the fridge smelled great all, all day today. So, let's cut into this and see how we did. It was starting to get a little further than I wanted to, but I think we still got it. So... Yeah, it's hard to see that way. This one, yeah, we're still at a medium rare there on that one. This one I definitely know is going to be a good one. It's got a good char. Um, Jack likes like almost like the Pittsburgh rare. So let's have a taste. The cap is my favorite part of the ribeye, so I know this is going to be good, and that seasoning is awesome. Mm. I like being outdoors in the woods eating that good of a steak for just a cook, of course having a beer. And uh, like I said, all you do is prep this in advance, carry this thing along, good to go. Um, like you said, use our code, it's a BJOB10, um, it's 10% off, we'll have a link there for it, we'll have that in the comments for you. Um, like I said, pretty awesome little cool grill to travel with. So uh, hopefully like you're seeing, subscribe to the channel, click the bell, get notifications, and we'll see you next time.